Alex Weaver here joined by Ben Kennedy and NASCAR has some exciting news to announce surrounding the long rumored return to racing in Mexico. This time with the NASCAR Cup Series, I know that the Xfinity Series raced in Mexico from 2005 to 2008, but it's time now for the Cup Series to head down to Mexico. It is. We're going to international. NASCAR just dropped a bombshell that's got everyone talking. They're taking the Cup Series International in 2025, and it's not just a little trip across the border. We're talking about a full-blown, points-paying race in Mexico City. On Sunday, June 15th, 2025, the roar of NASCAR engines will echo through Mexico City for the first time in Cup Series history. This isn't just any race, it's a big deal, the first international points-paying race in the modern era of NASCAR. The last time something like this happened was way back in 1958 when they raced in Toronto, Canada. That's over 60 years ago. Now, let's talk about where this historic race is happening. The Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico City is the chosen track and it's a beauty. If you're into Formula One, you might recognize this place, but NASCAR's putting its own spin on things. They're using a 2.51 eight mile layout, which is a bit shorter than the 2.67 four mile course F1 uses. And instead of 17 turns, NASCAR's track will have 14. This means drivers will need to blend their oval track skills with some tricky road course maneuvering. The Cup Series race isn't the only thing happening that weekend. On June 14th, the day before the main event, the NASCAR Xfinity Series will hit the track. And to top it all off, the NASCAR Mexico Series will be part of the action too. Now, you might be wondering how you can watch all this action. Well, NASCAR's got it covered. The Cup Series race will be broadcast on Prime Video, bringing the excitement right to your living room. And if you're an Xfinity Series fan, you can catch that race on the CW. It's a new era for NASCAR broadcasting, reaching fans through both streaming and traditional TV. While this Mexico City race is groundbreaking for modern NASCAR, it's not the first time they ventured outside the US back in 1952 and 1958. They held Cup Series races in Canada. They also did some exhibition races in Japan from 1996 to 1998, and even made a pit stop in Australia in 1988. More recently, from 2005 to 2008, the Xfinity Series race at this very same track in Mexico City. Ben Kennedy, NASCAR's executive VP and chief venue and racing innovation officer, has been pushing for NASCAR to go global, and Mexico City was the perfect fit. Here's what he had to say. This is a historic moment for our sport, and specifically for the NASCAR Cup Series, in being able to expand our footprint to Mexico. We've been bold about our intentions to grow on a global scale, and there isn't a better place to take the next step in that journey than at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez road course in Mexico City. To Canada for a number of years, we've had the Xfinity Series in Mexico. This is a monumental moment for our sport in the sense that this is our first step of really taking the Cup Series internationally. And, you know, I, I think it could set us up for the future and potential new markets. Um, you know, I think we've been honest about our interest in taking our Cup Series abroad, whether that's north of the border or south of the border. And then as we talk about some of our other races, you know, there are opportunities for us to take the Cup Series even further than that. So, For Mexican NASCAR driver Daniel Suarez, this race is like a dream come true. He started in the NASCAR Mexico Series and worked his way up to become a Cup Series winner. Now he'll get to race at the highest level in his home country. Suarez couldn't contain his excitement. This for me is like a dream, a real dream come true. Exactly 10 years ago, I was here racing NASCAR Mexico in 2014, and I want to race here before quitting NASCAR Mexico and moving full-time to NASCAR Xfinity Series in 2015. I remember thinking how cool it would be to come back and race here in the, the Cup Series one day. I am just super excited to be part of this journey. This event is a partnership between NASCAR and OCISA, a big-time event promoter in Mexico. Alejandro Soberon, the founder and CEO of OCISA, had this to say, at OCISA, we are dedicated to entertaining people, and this has positioned us as the most powerful live events platform in Mexico and Latin America, as well as one of the most important globally. The arrival of the NASCAR Cup Series to our country reflects the significant growth that motorsports has experienced in Mexico. 
an achievement in which Escudaria Telmex has played a major role by promoting the NASCAR Mexico series and supporting drivers like Daniel Suarez. NASCAR had to make a tough choice to fit in the Mexico City race. They decided to remove one of the races at Richmond Raceway. Richmond has been holding two races every year since 1959, but in 2025, they'll only have one race there. This is a big deal because Richmond has been an important part of NASCAR for a very long time. Ben Kennedy addressed this change directly. We're still committed to Richmond, it's an important track, an important market, certainly as we think about where our NASCAR fans are today. We've seen some exciting storylines certainly coming out of that track over the past few years and excited to continue to be there next year, put on a great event for our fans, and put a lot of that energy and resources into that event. Despite Kennedy's reassurance, this change is significant for a track with so much history. Denny Hamlin, a driver who considers Richmond his home track, shared his perspective on the decision. I kind of understand NASCAR's decision because if the fans turned out here and we sold out every race, then there would be two races, they're gonna do things that the fans want to participate in. Hamlin also pointed out an interesting fact about Richmond's fan base. What's just crazy is that it's always one of our top five markets that watch us on TV, but they don't actually come to the racetrack itself. There are plenty of racing fans around here, but getting to the racetrack has been challenging in the past. Now, putting on an international race isn't as simple as just showing up and racing. There's a ton of planning involved. NASCAR's already thinking about things like weather. June is the rainy season in Mexico City. Traffic, which can be a nightmare in such a big city. And how to get all the teams and their gear across the border. This Mexico City race is part of NASCAR's bigger plan to reach new fans. In the last few years, they've added races at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum and even had a street race in downtown Chicago. It's all about bringing NASCAR to new places. Drivers and people in the racing world are pretty excited about this news. Chase Elliott, who won the NASCAR Cup Series in 2020, had this to say, The leadership group at NASCAR has been exploring a lot of different things that historically would probably have never happened, so I give them a lot of credit for that. I think to get outside the country is really a pretty cool thing and it's it's a pretty cool honor for us to have a following big enough to be able to leave and go somewhere and have an event and draw a big enough crowd for it to be successful. I think it's really good and it's healthy and it's something that we should probably look at doing if it goes well. NASCAR has been around since 1948 and for most of that time it's been seen as a uniquely American sport. Sure there have been international drivers who've made their mark like Juan Pablo Montoya from Colombia or Daniel Suarez from Mexico. But the races themselves have always been on American soil, except for those few exceptions we mentioned earlier. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to NASCAR Insider for more NASCAR insights.